So we made it to Italy and we just got to our Airbnb. It's really nice and it's literally right by the Trevi Fountain. Like I, the price. You can open the window and like put the camera out. The price couldn't be, the view couldn't be, and um, it's really nice. So I'm about to show you all. Here's the front door. And then I think this is a closet. Oh, sorry, I can't. Let me answer for you. Let me have a seat. And then the bathroom. I would just like to say, all these Airbnb bathrooms have been nice. Mirror. <laughs> America needs to get these heated racks because, yeah, we just do. And then a little kitchenette. Damn, I got a broom. And the fridge is right there. And then the bed. Let me. Like the details on my Little toiletries, the mirror, nice little couch. I'm not sure if I got that. Okay. And then if you walk down the hall. But yeah, that's basically our Airbnb. Like I said, we're by the Trevi Fountain. If any of you watch Lizzie McGuire, you already know, or any other movies. I'm trying to think what other movies, any movies that are shot in Rome, but um, really cool. And I was just reading one of the most recent reviews on our Airbnb listing, and somebody was like, they had went to the Trevi Fountain at like six in the morning, and there was no one there. So probably we'll try to get up pretty early just to go see it when there is no one there but our airbnb is very um central to a lot of things like um what was i trying to say yeah it's very central to a lot of things like we took the train from the airport like it left directly from the airport and then we hopped on the metro it was really only two stops and then we literally only walked 10 minutes so like the metro is like going straight back away from the fountain and then like literally past like a long strip like right outside the metro is like very lux lux luxury stores like chanel i don't even know the rest but the fancier stores were literally right outside the metro which is interesting because like back home eh, well it depends but um and then as you're walking there's a lot of little shops and restaurants so excited to explore our host mom like the mother of our host um, checked us in and it was really nice. Um, she was really nice and everything. And uh, yeah, so very excited. And like, um, I'm gonna link all the Airbnbs we stayed at. Um, I actually found this like right when we were about to book our other Airbnb. <laughs> and um, the one that we were gonna book was really like right behind the Coliseum. So this was only 82 a night. So split with two people, only 41 a night. So technically 82 for the entire time since it's two days, three days, one night, three days, two nights. So yeah, it was only 82 in total. And I don't know. I don't know how pricing works here, but I just know like if this is something like in the city, I don't think it'd be that cheap to get an Airbnb this close to a famous monument and stuff. Probably gonna get something to eat after we freshen up. But excited. Are you ready? If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. I said if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. I said if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home.
Hey y'all, so we just finished dinner. Um, once again, I keep doing this. I like will take out my SIM card to upload um, onto my computer to like transfer it to my hard drive and I forget to put the SIM card back in my camera. So I'm using my phone right now. So forgive me if some of the videos look not that good. But yeah, we're on our way back to take the tram to get back to the Airbnb. But overall, really good. So far, Rome is hitting. So we stopped at uh, Gelato Place. I got rose flower, milk cream, and caramel. But all the finer things Now this whole world has no clue what to do with it I got enough money Hey guys, so we made it to the Roman Coliseum And um, like when you buy the ticket You get to go to three things The Forum, the Palestine Palatine Hall Palatine Hall and the Coliseum um, But we bought our tickets like just now So literally, um lady was like it's best to go to the coliseum now because they're gonna close soon and then tomorrow because you get 24 hours to visit the other two places she was like you could come back tomorrow and go do those two things so yeah also i just like to point out it's just really crazy because like i knew like english was a universal language but like just for people who don't speak it it's like really hard to like just get by like there was a couple in front of us and the guy was like oh it's my own the lady's like no and so he's like, oh, okay. Like, he spoke a little bit of English, but I know he'd rather have been able to speak Spanish, and his wife didn't speak English. So, like, I just know, like, they're probably just a little annoyed because they wanted to get a Spanish tour guide, but they only have, like, three tour guides in Spanish for the day. But then for English, they have it, like, throughout the entire day from morning until, like, the last time they close. But, yeah. You ain't got no money, take your bro. Ass home, you say it. You ain't got no money, take your bro. Hey guys, so we decided to stop at McDonald's because it's only five something and we're gonna get dinner later at another place that my friend Taylor recommended but I just got a chicken sandwich and fries and they don't give out um, straws, straws or covers because they said they're trying to reduce the plastic so environmentalism are you ready if you ain't got no money take your bro ass home you say it you ain't got no money take your bro ass home i said if you ain't got no money take your bro ass home you say it Hey guys, 
so we came back to the same spot as yesterday except we went to the restaurant right across which is called I forgot the name but it's another place that my friend Taylor recommended um, and it's literally right across from the restaurant we went yesterday and I got lasagna again because I mean yeah but you know pasta's pasta so I'm excited to taste So we just dropped off our storage here. Um, and that's our locker and everything fit. And so now we're about to get the day started. Um, we're gonna go to the forum and then try to go to um, a museum, get food and then head to the airport. Um, our flight leaves exactly at 7, I believe, or mm -hmm. 7, yeah, exactly at 7, so we're going to be trying to get to the airport by 5, and we're going to take the same train, um, it's really the same way back, like, the two stops, and then the train station, and then the airport, so, yeah, and it was really easy, it was a self-storage locker, the original place that our Airbnb host sent us to, which was really, like, right around the corner from our Airbnb, it was actually closed. It's closed for holiday until the 23rd. So then she sent us this, which is also pretty close because it's by the um, Spanish stairs. So yeah. Are you ready? If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. I said if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your Hey guys, so we're at the Roman Forum right now. Um, we just came from the Palatine Hill. The Palatine Hill. It's really big over here. Lots of walking, but I mean that's Europe in general. So if you're not much of a walker, um, you probably won't want to do this. Also, just wearing comfortable shoes because um, the cobblestone is. Take you well. Yeah, people have been <laughs> tripping. It's crazy. Are you ready? If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. I said if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. I said if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. You say. Nothing but all the finer things. Now this whole world.